I'm going to do a um, couple little demos for you today. Um, I'm going to make a couple stamps. I'm going to actually show you how, to, how easy, um, for the one who wants to make stamp, how easy it can be to make a stamp. Um, I hope I'll make it OK. <laughs> um, and for the first one, I'm going to use what everybody has in their bench is uh, files. So what I did is I broke off the piece that goes inside the handle. I just put it in a vise, hit it, and it just breaks off because it's hard and very hard, so it's very brittle. But the tip is already soft. It's never hardened. So you don't need to um, anneal it before make it into a stamp. Um, after the, the demo, um, there is going to be a video that's going to show all the heating process of making a stamp for the one who wants to look at, at uh, the annealing part and the hardening and tempering. Because we, we, we didn't want to bring torches here, we're going to do it uh, on the video after. So the, the first step, um, when you're in your shop, you want to grind this part flat. Um, I don't know if this is um, on that video. On this, you can see this one is, is grounded flat already. So the first step I, I'm going to do is to get the tip flat and just sharpen each edge around the side. And what I do is, uh, between each stroke, I turn the stamp on itself. So this way, I get something quite flat fast. Just about like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a little diamond shape stamp. So uh, what I want to get, what I want to do is get a triangle. So I'm going to go on the corner here and, and file down. And what I like to have is a, an angle. I don't know if you see it like that. Uh, approximately 10 to 15 degrees. side. So you see you already have a, a shape, uh, a little bit of a uh, this way triangle. And so now what I want to do is break the two other angles here and here by filing the same. So what you can do is always, uh, I have a piece of plasticine to try the, the, the design to see how it, it looks. I don't know if we see anything. So it already take, looks like a, a little diamond. Thank <laughs> you. 
And I just, I'm playing around just to get the shape I'm looking for. The good thing about when you make a stamp is if you don't like it, you can always file back from the top. My hands are trembling, so it's a little bit... Uh, <laughs> So I made it a little bit smaller. And so the, the good thing about, um, I mean, the, 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 the top of the stamp can be um, textured or, or making line with a saw or anything. So for the diamond, I'm just going to make little lines to create the facets of the stones. And I call it a diamond, but it's pretty much a uh, semi-precious stones. <laughs> I'm starting with a fine saw blade, like a five-zero saw blade. And I'm going to go right across from one corner here to another. <laughs> I don't know if we can see. Yeah. And now from the tip. If we look at on a few with the little line, I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna mm? so the just the little saw line just make it the facet. So it's just a little example of what you know, how to make um, different shape. And it, it's really fast, and it, it creates a very simple, easy stamp to make. So it's um, St. Valentine, so I brought a little hard shape just made, and those are... So I use a lot of those for, for, for little, little, little stamps like that. So that's one. Um, what I like, and Norbert used them also, it's to use um, old tools. I, I find the steel for stamps is really the best. So any old tools um, I transform into, into stamps. So those are um, nail set, to, to set the nail into the wood. So those have been annealed, so they come like that when they are annealed. And what I did is I cut off part of it. And why I like those is um, they're made to actually push in. So they, they really work well and they really push into the metal very fast. So um, I find that they make some of the best stamps. So same thing, I, I, I already advanced a little bit on this one. I I'm, I'm make sure the, the top is flat. So this one I'll just make a simple triangle just to show you also how a, a, a texture stamp. So what I like to do is, again, 
I like a 10 to 15 degree angle. So the reason for that is it really gets inside the metal. It doesn't, we don't need to use a lot of force. You know, think about a nail. If it, the way it's made, it's made to go in. If it's, the, the, if the angle goes like that, you'll have to push harder to get it in the middle. Same thing for when you stamp on silver. So that's what I call the base of the stamp, m mostly when it's a triangle or something. So it's a, it's a, and I always like to mark it. So this way, when I stamp, I don't have to look at the stamp. I know where the base is, and it's easier to align it right away. So now I'm going to do the two other angles. Um, I don't have a marker. But yeah. Oh no, I, I do. Thank you. So I'll, I'll do a little. It's big, but you know, a little bit of the shape that I'm looking for. So um, it gives me an idea when I when I when I file. You can file or you can grind with a grinder if you're good at it. Um, I like filing. So this, those two angles for the outside of the triangle uh, for the tip, uh, I use a little bit less of an angle, so between 15 and 20 degrees usually. And when I talk about that angle, it's on the side here and like that. So we have a little bit of a triangle coming up. So it, um, what I think it's important is when I file is always to push at the same place to open the facet so it doesn't create curve. And if you're having a hard time doing that, uh, a good trick is to, um, I lost it, uh, the marker. It's to uh, take the marker and um, get the side black. So this way when you when you push it, thank you. So if I get it black like that, it, it gives you an idea where you file and so you can adjust. If I file once, you can see where it takes it off. So I can adjust how I file and um, I find it quite helpful. I'm gonna just make a So there is the, uh, the main shape of the triangle. Well, I, I really like to usually um, depend what kind of triangle you want, but to m always measure uh, each side to see how close they are to each other. So like on this one, this one is longer than this side. So what I need to do is file on this side a little bit so it brings the other one down a tiny bit. And again, it's always good to have the, your plasticine to try it on.
So in a stamp like that, I don't know if you can see on the, on the screen, there is a quite a sharp angle right there. And this angle, when, I, when you stamp, kind of like stop the stamp for getting in. So what I'll do is I'll file that all the way to the tip without going quite to the tip. So we have a, a we have a triangle. Um, so what I wanted to sh to show is uh, how we can texture that, and we can do so many with a triangle. We can do so many more things. We can file one side with a curve. We can uh, file groove in it. We can use the saw and make groove, uh, not too deep because the metal gets stuck inside. But, uh, or you can make nice parallel or perpendicular line. So for that, I use um, an old file. And I'm going to move to the, to the. So if I want a parallel line to the base, I will come on this file and just line it up at the beginning like that. If I want perpendicular line, I can use a ruler put it on the first line, and then come with my stamp against the ruler, like that. And then, and so now you have all the lines on it. And so um, that's a good way to, to uh, to texture your stamp. If you want, um, I'm going to redo it on this one. If you want a texture on it, where well you go anywhere on the file and hammer a few times, and then you get a different texture. So in West Africa, they, they, make, um, they make shape like that of uh, rectangular, square, oval, round, and they, um, and they stamp, but instead of making a mark to make a mark, they actually stamp to bring the metal out. So they can write name by stamping around each letter. So this way the letter comes out. And they texture everything like that, so the bottom is really texture. When, after doing that, um, it's always very good to, um, to come back and to resharpen every edges because the, the, the metal moves so and then you have a triangle with texture and you can take a parallel file and, and make a different design by filing a curve at the base And all of a sudden, you have something different. So that's for this time. I'm just going to show you a little bit of stamping, not too long. That's the most stressful part for me today because I'm in front of like master <laughs> Navajo stamper. So it's always. <laughs> But I'll try. <laughs> so I, I'm just going to do a little um, fast little thing. I have silver here. It's oxidized. I, I nailed it, but I left it dark because I like to see the lines. And it helps me to see it. So I'm going to do um, my new patterns I've been working on. So what I do is I do um, part of a circle. And I usually start with that. And I'm going to use a few stamps. The first one is a, a triangle. I don't know, uh, yeah, if we can close. It's a triangle I made with um, the three sides are rounded up. 
And I, I love that stamp. I think it can be used for so many things. And on this, I don't know if you see the side. The, do you see those angles? And you see the lines, the, the silver lines? It actually goes this deep into the middle. And it doesn't take too much force either. So I'll just start with this one. So I usually do a first line like that. And then again with a compass, I go to the outside of that. And I come back the other way with the stamp. In between each one. And I, I work, whoops, uh, sorry. And actually go on like that until, um, like I can still use that one a couple more times. Uh, I, I won't do all around, but. Like that. And, um, and just go on and on, and I can use different one until I get a, a, a pattern. Just like that. <laughs>